Fiat. Fiat. A creative command. A decree. Isn't that what we do at the end of our prayers? And so it is. What does that really mean? Are we not claiming that as our reality? Whatever was spoken in the prayer, whatever essence of tone that's been conveyed, as we say that, and so it is, we are claiming that as our reality. The reality that we are embracing and wanting to live out of. And something inside me says that we're doing that all the time. We are constantly claiming the reality that we are living out of. But the question is, what reality are you claiming? How many different kinds of reality are there to claim from? Infinite. Tons of them. See, the fiat that we are focusing on is the fiat, let there be light. And we would call that a divine decree. Let's say God claiming the reality that there be light in and amongst us, in creation. And what I've been coming to recognize is that I am claiming my reality all the time. I'm living out of that reality. And where is that coming from? A divine decree seems like it would be unobjectionable. Like it just is the way it is. So why the word let? Why do I have to let there be light if there already is light? Because is there light in my experience? Is there light in my consciousness? I think that's where the let comes in. And what would keep me from letting there be light? I'm basing the, my idea of the reality I want to live in out of something other than the light. It really is quite simple when we get down to it. You know, how do I go into this space where I can connect with the divine reality? It's through stillness, yes? We drop into stillness. We go within. We connect with the eternal, unchanging reality versus picking up all of our information from our physical senses out of this temporal reality that's always changing. And so in this temporal reality, there's all kinds of clatter and commotion and confusion and sometimes darkness. There's all kinds of things going on that I could respond to, I could give my energy and attention to, and let that be the reality that I am living out of. But let there be light. Let my attention and my orientation be focused in such a way that through the stillness, I'm listening to the divine design, the reality of the creator, of the cosmos with that divine decree, that there be light. And then, from that place, it doesn't really matter what's happening around me, what's happening in the rest of the world. There's this idea, none of these things move me. In all things, whatever it is, I give thanks. Because I'm living out of the reality of light and love. And letting that move through me in my expression, regardless of what. Regardless of whatever happens, no matter what. Because the reality I'm living in is not being governed and influenced and subjected to the outer temporal experiences. But the inner present reality that's always there, where the light already is. Before I close out my time, I'd like to share a poem. It's an original poem that I wrote years ago. It's titled Inside Out Life. Observe the curious nature of the duality of humanity, living a life full of limitations in an unlimited reality, creating projections of thoughts and emotions that sway 
from the dramas and plays that occur through a day. Moments of unfolding events and outcomes unsure. Beyond the pleasure and pains of success and failure. Fleeting and temporary. Dancing like shadows on a wall. Yet with a loud clatter that can drown out the call. That sweet call of spirit that sounds out permission to honor, forgive, and love freely without condition. An eternal reality, always unchanging and ever-present, reminds us of perfect design that's surely heaven-sent. Forever rooted in faith, transcending fear and doubt, unattached to outcomes and living from the inside out, operating at a greater capacity in the process of creation, and welcoming the unending flow of divine inspiration. In a world of shifting forms, remember to always love it as the master, to be and live in the world, but not of it.